Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Sophie and I make videos on slow living and minimalism. If you've been following me on Instagram, you probably already know that my husband and I, we've been remodeling our house for the past year. And we're so excited because we're finally moving on to the kitchen. We're getting brand new countertops and cabinets next week. Since I will have to remove everything in the process, I thought this was a great opportunity for me to declutter my entire kitchen and also share with you some guidelines on how you can declutter your home. So I hope that you will actually do this with me, find a section of your home or your room where you can declutter. And without further ado, let's get started. In a big space like this, it can feel overwhelming and you might not know how to get started. What I recommend is starting with a drawer or a shelf, which will set the stage for doing the rest. I'm starting in this corner of the room and working my way clockwise, going through each cabinet. The process of decluttering can be really relaxing, calming, even uplifting, as it can give us a sense of control and accomplishment. You can turn on your favorite songs, listen to a podcast or an audiobook, do it by yourself, or include your whole family in the process. Challenge yourself to get rid of as many things as possible. The key is not to overcomplicate it, and just enjoy the process. Clutter doesn't just affect us physically, but it can also become a mental burden on us. I notice this about myself. When my space is chaotic and disorganized, it's always an indication of my mental and emotional clutter. Every decluttering session can be an opportunity for us to organize our thoughts and get our lives back on track. I like to make things as simple as possible, so I'm organizing my things into three categories. Sell, donate, and trash. It helps me to envision my end goal before starting this whole process, which is to have a clean, tidy, organized space where I only have the tools that I need and know exactly where I can find each item. This helps me to get into the right mindset and not be afraid to let go of the items that bring me very little value to my life. Some questions we can ask ourselves to put things into perspective. Have I used it in the past month? Do I use it regularly? Is it broken or expired, never used, empty? Is there a duplicate? Do I have the space to store it? What's the worst that could happen if I get rid of this? Of course, you can use the KonMari method and ask yourself, does it spark joy? However, for the kitchen, it's more about functionality for me, and I needed to ask myself if this item made my life a bit easier. If you're not sure of something or find yourself going back and forth in your mind, you can create a maybe pile and go through it later. Start with the items where you have a clear answer and build momentum. 
The goal is to come to a clear decision and move forward so that we're not spending too much on one item. One way which really helps me is by reversing the question. Instead of asking, what do I want to declutter? We can ask, what do I want to keep? This will shift your perspective and make the decision a little bit easier for you. One of the ways to prevent the clutter in your home from returning is to find a home for all of your belongings. Knowing exactly where each item is and keeping our space organized will most likely prevent us from purchasing duplicates or unnecessary items in the future. I think it's so important to take this moment to reflect on our past spending habits, not to mention the time, money, and resources that went into buying each item. We can always clear our space, get rid of everything, hide it away in a drawer somewhere, but if we're not careful about how we consume and why we consume, we will fall back into the vicious cycle of buying and throwing away stuff. Each decluttering session can be a time to reflect to ensure that we will be more intentional with our purchases moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Let me know in the comments below which part of your home you need to declutter the most. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, thank you and take care. Bye.